Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to the lecture today. Um, we've got Sean helping me demonstrate. Um, you will see that some of the time I will go off camera while Sean's on, uh, just to play the music um, and so on. Um, so, yes, let's get going. So we're going to start our lecture with a little bit of a warm-up first for everybody who's just logged in. Uh, if you've not done a warm-up prior to this, we're just going to do a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a warm-up, and then we're going to get straight on to the lecture. So all I'm going to do is ask you to do 25 bounces. So we'll go first leg forward. It doesn't matter which leg, the longer you're going to alternate. So it's going to do 25 bounces, and one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And swap legs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Then all we're going to do is just alternate them. So you're going to do 25 both times. So it'll swap. Are you ready? And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and well done. And we've got one more set of 25 all turning in, and then we're just going to push back on each leg for 25. Okay? So 25 last time on both, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and push back for 25. So really push it back. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And again, are we ready? Push back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. If I can just ask you to sit on the bum, legs out. So all we're going to do is just a big stretch up. It doesn't matter which side first. You go straight down to your leg and stretch it off. And for the count of 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Arms up and stretch to the other side. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stretch it up as tall as you can, and down the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just stretch your body up, so you've got a big, big stretch, and you can just put your arms behind, and just stretch it back, your head back, lift your head up, and just one more time down the middle, for the count of ten, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And legs together. And keep them feet nice and tight. Any opportunity you get, guys, we're going to keep our focus on feet throughout the dance, okay? As you know, massive, massive, massive thing in dancing is having extremely tight feet, okay? So we're going to stretch it down the middle for ten. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're just going to stand up and shake it off. Okay, so you're just going to shake them legs off. Okay, you're going to stretch the arms up to the ceiling. And stretch one down. And really give it a good push. And pull up to the top again. And stretch it down. And 
then across. And the other side. And just put hands on your hips, just rotate your head round. And back. And all you're going to do is put your hands on your hips again. And all you're going to do is just keep the inside of the legs warm. You're just going to do 10 down and back up. So you're going to go down one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just shut your legs off again one more time. Let's just see Sean's split. So we're going to go into a box split stretch first, in fact. So we're just going to pull the knees back. So we're just going to see all the splits to make sure their legs are warm. Then we'll just do a quick um, back stretch, a quick shoulder stretch, and then we'll get about started. So if you're just pushing these back now for the count of 10, you can see Sean really pushing them, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down to box splits. So again, keeping them feet nice and tight. Good girl. And sit back up please. Let's see you into your right leg splits. So present nicely. So make sure guys that you keep it square. It's good for Sean she's got the box to keep it square. And keep your arms nice and locked. And then change legs. And present. And thank you, Sean. And then we're going to do 10 working bridges, so we're going to get them back a little bit warmer. Okay? So if you just watch Sean again, again, I would not be able to do this anymore. So you're going to do and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and stand back up, Sean. And you can just lean forward on this one, so the legs together, and stretch it down the middle. We're just going to do another two sets of ten on that. We have got a little, a little bit of the back um, piece in the lecture, so I do want to make sure the backs are warm and obviously the legs and everything. Um, so just do that two more times, Sean. So we'll do another set of ten. Are you ready? And. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and space the front again, feet together, and stretch it down the middle, and really pull it in if you can. Good work. And last ten. Okay, guys. Obviously, just take your time. It's not a rush. Um, so I can't see you guys. It's only you can see me. So as long as you're doing it correctly and safely, uh, everything will be fine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And well done, Sean. If you can just stretch that off finally. And then just to finish off, I'm just going to quickly stretch these shoulders. If Sean can just sit on her bum for me, legs in front. I'm just going to fetch the shoulder, uh, arms behind. You're going to try and get the little fingers to touch at the back. And you're going to try and fetch it forward a little bit. And just stretch off. Let's go for 30 seconds. So I'll time that for you. So we've got 30 seconds from now. While you're in that position, if you can notice, Sean is using every opportunity she can um, to keep her feet tight. Like again, I do want to keep that focus throughout the lecture. Any opportunity you have, squeeze through the feet. Yeah, always squeeze through the feet. We will do 30 seconds like that. Then we're going to flex our feet for 10 seconds, and then we'll do a finishing 30 seconds, and then we can get started. So if she can just flex her feet for 10. 
One, two. If you notice the feet are coming off the floor, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and last thirty. So now she's squeezing her feet as hard as she can while also stretching the shoulders off. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can fetch your head back. Coming up to our last 10 or 15 seconds. And relax. Okay, so like I said, we're just a quick general stretch, just a quick general warm for the legs, uh, the arms, the back, and the shoulders and the feet. Okay, so now we've got a little bit stretched off. Um, before I start the lecture, um, I just want to say well done to everybody in lockdown. It's been an extremely difficult time for everybody. Um, to keep that motivation in dance is hard, uh, especially with no competitions at the minute. But as dancers, I can see that everybody's growing, uh, people are improving, and actually getting a chance to learn to dance, um, which is absolutely amazing. It's enjoyable for us teachers, and within no time, the competitions will be back. Uh, so keep working hard, keep digging deep, um, and you will have a chance to showcase all your hard work in the near future. But in the meantime, log on to as many ADP lectures as you can. I know there's going to be one, I think it is every three weeks. So every opportunity you can, get onto them, make sure you learn them, um, recap them, record them, go over them, look at them again. Um, I do believe um, after this um, today, it does get put on the ADFP website and you can sign in and watch it. I do believe that's true. Um, so yeah, you can get plenty of time to go back over the lecture and uh, learn anything you might have missed. Um, lastly, before I get on, I just want to say, please, please respect all your dance teachers. They are doing an extremely well job to keep you motivated, to keep you going. Every dance teacher out there has put a lot of work in, a lot of time into you kids, and it does affect them as well. They really, really want you to be back out on that comp floor, so thank you for supporting them. Keep supporting them. They will push everything in your direction to make you the best dancer possible. And I've always believed that you should respect your dance teacher. They've been there, they've had the opportunities that we've had, well, we've had the opportunities as we've been dancers in the past, and we're now showing that to you guys and passing on our information. So please respect your dance teachers. They do know their stuff. Okay, so first things first. We will do the lecture facing this way, and then we'll do it this way. Okay? Um, myself as a dancer when I was growing up, uh, lectures were never one of my strengths. I would always be the child that stands at the back and then learn it and then kind of showcase it a little bit later on. Um, remember guys, nobody can see you, so give it everything you've got. That's the comfort of your own room, which is amazing. These opportunities like this, even just doing this is fantastic. I never had this opportunity when I was dancing and because how shy I were and how unconfident I were at picking stuff up, um, I would have loved something like this. So, we'll start with our starting position. So all you're going to do is you're going to put your hand up nice and straight, with a little bit of kink in the elbow, then you put your other hand on your waist, rise up onto this foot, and hold that position, okay? Your first move is, from this hand, all you do is take it down and scoop with a drop. Okay, so make sure when you fetch the arm round, if you can fetch the arm round again, Sean, she fetches it round and then she turns her head into the finishing position. Okay, that's the first move. Again, I'm going to break it down really slow. Okay, so anybody who's watching, beginner to prem, anybody who's not even danced before or even been to a competition before is going to have the opportunity to pick it up. Uh, let me put my phone in this box. So, um, we've got the first bit. So she's in start position, she's rising up on that foot, she then fetches it through. From there she does a quick jump, she hits this dead, dead straight leg, she hits the arm strong, and she keeps the other one tucked in. So again, you can see the opportunity she's got, squeeze her foot. 
So she's going to squeeze her feet, okay? Squeeze the foot on that one, squeeze the foot on that one, and jump, okay? So I'm going to count her in from the first move. So start to position, five, six, seven, and step, down, and up. Good. Straight from the big jump, I do want that jump to go a little bit higher. So if you can just do that jump again, Sean. And seven, and jump, up. Good. Straight from that jump is a two-footer takeoff double top, okay? If you can't do the double toy, you can do the easier version, or I should say the less advanced version, which is just a single top, okay? So just get it down once. If you can, attack it, and let's go for two, okay? So, from the uh, beginning chart, ready? Seven, and go. Through, up, jump, double top, good. And again, so what we're gonna do again, um, we'll do it this time, um, can you do it the other way, so that people can see it facing this way, yeah? So, we're just gonna do the first section, yeah, okay? So, we'll keep um, switching it up, guys, so, I know some people are more confident camera on, some people are more com confident that way, okay? Uh, so, we will keep switching it up and giving everybody the opportunity. So, we'll give it from the first bit, so you've got seven, and, and hit, and up, and jump, good. Okay, so on the double tour, or single tour even, you've got it in the arm tag. So if you just show me your arm placement, Sean, just got your arm placements, they're nice and clean. I sometimes like it like that. If not, you can have fingertips, okay? This, 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 they're all look good. As long as you've got that nice shape on the double tour, okay? So we do one more time. Uh, we'll go back to the other way now, Sean. Okay, so we've got seven and go. Hit and up and up. Good. Okay. Going back to the double tour, you can either do it off one foot or two feet. Okay. Personally, I think it's hard off one foot. I think Sean prefers it off one foot. Um, but you can do it off one or two. So don't be so like um, worked up if you can't do it on one, but you can do it on the other. You've got either option. You can either do one foot of takeoff or two foot of takeoff. Okay. So again, I will keep repeating the lecture, I will keep it um, repetitive, so you will kind of think, oh yes, I know we've done that, Colin, come on, let's move on. But not everybody's as quick as everybody else, and I want everybody to learn everything, okay? Even from where the arm placements are, to where the feet placement are, to the linemen, everything, okay? So, we'll do it one more time, Sean, and then we'll have the next section up, okay? So again, she's rising from foot, she's got her hand, she's got it all stretched out, she's got her hand on her hip, and then she's ready to go. Ready? Seven and go. Through and up and go. Good girl. Straight from the double top. If you just watch, she's got her arm placements again. She's got double spin. Straight after the double spin is a pirouette. Okay? So we'll just do the double turn, no, we'll do the double spin pirouette. Yeah? Okay? So we've got seven and go. Da da da, da da da. da. Okay? So keep it clean, keep it sharp, all right? So as soon as you finish from the double tar, you go straight away into double spin, double pirouette or single pirouette, okay? I've made it so it keeps you on balance, so if you are feeling more control from just a single uh, pirouette, just stay with the single. If you feel more control with the single double tar, stick with the single. Okay? It's all about preference and making it a bit available for you to learn the best of your ability. Okay, so we're going to go, Sean, from uh, the beginning, please. So we've got seven and go. Through, up, jump, double, top, double, spin, pirouette. Good. Straight after the pirouette, guys, you're going to come straight to a sudden stop. The shape on this is a bit like a plie position. You've got your, that's it, you can keep showing us all the directions, that's better for us. Uh, hand on your head, and other hand on your shoulder, okay? So if you just watch that position again, and place. Okay, so what I'm going to ask Sean to do for you guys is a double pirouette, stop, okay? Are we ready? Seven, and go, bang! So you hit that shape solid, okay? And again, are you ready? Seven and go. Pirouette, bang. Good. Straight from that position, okay? So you finish your double pirouette, or single, doesn't matter which. You're in your position then. You're gonna get your elbow and your head and tilt it back and down. So as soon as you finish your pirouette, 
you'll finish clear and hit, hit. Okay? Let me see that again, Michelle, please. So go from uh, pirouette. Are you ready? So she's going to go pirouette, stop, tap, tap. Are you ready? Seven and go. Pirouette, stop, tap, tap. Good. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to break it through. So just mark it through for him, Sean. Okay? Um, I'll give you a couple of seconds to get that in your head. Again, I do realise it is quite slow going, but I want everybody to learn just from my experience, and I know a lot of dancers prefer to be broken it down and actually learn something, okay? So, the first thing, you've got your starting position, right? So come to, from there you're taking your arm through and hit, from there you're going to do a big jump up, from there you're going to do a big double top, from there you're going to do a double spin, double pirouette, stop. Then you're going to lift head up and down. Good girl. Okay, so I'm going to give you like two minutes while Sean gets a quick drink um, to mark that through and then we will continue. So we'll go from, in fact what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Sean to dance it all the way to music, just to that section, yeah? So you get a little feel for the music and how fast it is. So I'll put the music on, uh, and Sean will demonstrate that first thing for you. Good girl. So let's see it from the hip hip. Alright? 
So we've got seven and head back and drop, drop, round and scoop and run. Good. Okay, we're going to break it all the way from the beginning now. Okay, so let's go from the top. So, starting position is, we'll just uh, mark it through, guys, so don't be stressing. Uh, we're not going to dance into music just yet. Um, while we're marking this through, anybody who does need a quick drink, uh, keep drinking. Uh, I know it's quite warm, um, and I know some of your houses are going to be absolutely boiling anyway. So make sure you get plenty of drink, um, and yeah, obviously you can't ask for a drink, so unless you're there to him. So let's go from the beginning. All right. So we've got starting position from here. All we're going is do do do. Big jump up, double tall one foot or two foot, double spin, pull, let's stop, tilt back, down, cross, cross, double wind, from there, scoop and run. Okay, good girl. Okay, well done guys. Uh, keep pushing, keep working hard. Uh, now we're going to try it so the camera is on the other way, okay? So we're going to try it for anybody else who prefers to learn it the other way, alright? So, we'll go from the very beginning. So, she's in start position. The arm is up, she's risen on toe, good. And seven, go. And through, and jump. And double top, double spin. Double pirouette, stop. Head back, drop, drop, round. And scoop and round. Good, okay. One more time, but I'm going to do that a little bit slow for you, okay? Seeing as we spent a little bit longer on the other way, okay? So we'll do it a little bit slower this time for Michelle. Okay? I tried to put the routine together for limited space, okay? So Sean is working on limited space to make it fair for everybody else at home. I know that everybody, or well, a lot of people would be working in a little space. I know a lot of the Scottish, well, I think all the Scottish are still on lockdown. So they would not be in venues as such yet, okay? So um, don't be stressing it if you go out a line a little bit. It is very strict to keep you in this vicinity, but give it your best shot, okay? Um, and you will find that when you do get back to the studio, you'll find that your control and your balance will have improved because you've been used to such a small area. Okay, so we're gonna go from the beginning. So we've got seven and hit round up, big jump, big double top, big double spin, big pirouette, stop, head back, hit, chop, chop, round, and scoop and round. Good, well done. Okay, so get a quick drink if you want, Sean. Because I am going to try that to music just so you get a quick look of it, okay? So we'll do it to music. If you need a quick drink, you can get a quick drink. If not, just keep marking it through. Keep going through it continuously. Okay, get it familiar in your mind, all right? I put this lecture together and I still forget it, okay? So keep going through it, keep going through it, and then it so becomes like second nature to you, okay? I don't have to think about putting one foot in front of the other when I walk, okay? It's just natural. Same with any kind of routine that you're learning. Get it so it's that familiar, it just happens, okay? You just go into it, all right? I'm just going to get a quick drink as well, and then we will dance it to music, shall we? Okay? So, we'll try it to music.
but Sean can. So she will do the rotation round, keep the momentum going, and drop. Okay, so she'll show you the drop into the split. So just do it as if you're finishing the move into the split, Sean. So rotation round, split, or the alternate way is rotation round and one foot, one knee, and down. Okay, before I move on to the next bit, what I want to ask Sean to do again is do it the other way. Okay, so we're going to break it down and do it facing this way from Sean. Okay, done? So, we've got flip, back, rotate round, and pull and either split, or you can change that to rotate and down. Okay, one more time. And then I will, you know, we'll add the next section and then go back to the beginning. Okay, so we've got, ready? And flip, back, rotate round, rotate drop, either into splits or either into foot and knee. Okay, well done, Chuck. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds just to mark that through yourselves, get it in your head. If you need to, you can recap it all the way from the beginning and keep building it up to this. If you just need to rotate the section and keep going through that and choosing the landing you prefer, splits or one foot one knee, that's entirely up to you. Um, I can imagine that some people haven't got much room, but like I did say earlier, we have kept it quite tight, so we have made it um, possible for, we should say like 99% of you, okay? Um, I'm hoping that everybody's dancing around about this space. Okay, do um, we will add on straight away from that before I recap it from the beginning. Okay, I'm just going to give you another couple of minutes just to go through it all. Um, I know sometimes when a lecture is speaking and going through it, you're like, oh, I want to go back to that. I want to go back to that. Okay, what I'm going to ask Sean to do is while I get a quick drink, is break it all the way from the beginning. Okay, so you'll just see her while the camera's on, you'll just see her marking it through. Okay. And then you might be like, oh yeah, I need to know that bit. I need to know that bit, okay? So if you've not fully got it yet, then watch Sean for a couple of minutes. If you've got it, go and practice it. And then I'll be back for the next bit in a couple of seconds. So we're ready? So we're going to break it all the way from, uh, do you want to go from the beginning just to recap that while we're here? Yeah? So we'll go all the way from the beginning and then we'll add the next bit on the floor. So the next bit is a little bit of the floor bit and it is a little bit more challenging. So, are we ready? Put arm position up and through it goes. And big jump up, big double tall, big double spin, big double pirouette, drop. Head back, head down, chop, chop, round as a double or a single. From there, scoop up and round. From there, you go kick, back, rotate. Either rotate into drop there or rotate into drop here. Good. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it from the splits um, and show you how to get into the next move. Okay. Uh, I think it's harder from splits than it is from foot and knee. I think it's anyway. Really um, so I'm going to ask Sean to go into split position. So this is the position that Sean finishes on. Okay, from splits, all you're going to do is watch Sean. You're going to bring it up and then just take it round. Okay, as you bring it up, you've got to then spot onto one foot and arms into a bit like this position. So like, like a muscle man position, okay? And then you're going to use the arms to turn it round, okay? So really pull it round. Ideally, I'd like a double because a double looks more effective. Again, an easier way would just be a single. Okay? So from the get up, you're going to put on the one foot, a little bit like you would do a pirouette, so you're on the one foot, and just take the leg around. Okay? So make sure you've got that turn momentum in your foot to be able to get around. Okay? Again, use the arms to pull you around. Okay? So I'm going to ask Sean again to go. She's finished the splits. She gets up. From here, she fetches it round and stops. Okay, the reason she stops is the next bit actually does flow into the next move. Okay, 
it's the next move is just a rotation roll onto the back, okay? So you rotate it, roll it round onto the back, okay? So I'm going to ask Sean to just quickly demonstrate that fast, hopefully, if she doesn't slip. So we'll have it from, she finish the split, she gets up, she fetches it round and back up. Good, okay? So one more time from Sean. So you ready? And from here it goes to the ground and back row. Good girl, that was a lot more control as well, okay? So Sean Perry um, wants to go really fast and really strong. Sometimes you're gonna pull it back a little bit, get the control and then the speed and that can come after, okay? As you saw then, Sean looked a lot better with a little bit taken out and the control. Okay, so I hope we're all having a good time so far anyway because I feel like I'm just non-stop talking. Um, but I know it's been extremely hard in lockdown guys, but there is a lot, a lot of people a lot worse off and we've just got to embrace what we've got and be so grateful and appreciative to what we have now, okay? Um, just to be able to dance is extremely fantastic, okay? So keep dancing guys, keep working hard. Um, and keep pushing. I am so, so excited to eventually get back to a comp and see you all. Okay, so we'll go from the um, round on the floor, okay? So we've got seven and round it goes, back roll, straight away she gets up, okay? The next move is freestyle classic, big jump illusion, okay? So everybody knows, Big stretch up the arms, feet tucked into the bum, nice tight feet, okay? So we'll go from um, the other way now, just to recap again, okay? So Sean, you're gonna go from, you finish the split or the drop onto the foot, then you're gonna take it round, round it goes, back roll, and then big jump up and up. Good girl. One more time. Are ready? Seven and round it goes, back roll, big jump up and around. Good. Okay, so we get back facing the front, shall we? So we've got our freestyle jump illusion, big stretch up, feet tucked in, straight from there, Sean's gonna hit it straight into a box jump. Okay. To make that a little bit simpler, don't stress if you need to do a jump illusion stop box or if you need to do a jump illusion stop tuck. These are another couple of alternatives. Don't be panicking, thinking, oh, I can't go jump illusion straight into box. Give it your best shot if you can. If not, you can do a jump illusion, you can go straight into a tuck jump, you can even go jump illusion stop and a tuck jump. Or you can do a jump illusion stop and a box jump. Okay? So if you just watch Shan, she's going to do the jump illusion box. Already? Seven, and up, over, box. Good. Okay, again, you can show them feet are kept tight. Um, I'm going to ask you, Sean, if you don't mind, to do it from the rotation on the floor all the way to the jump illusion box. Okay? Are we ready? Seven and rotation round, back roll up, big jump up, big box. And again. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of slippy floor there. We'll try that again. Are we ready? So, guys, you will, like I said, there's not much room. You will end up slipping. You will end up probably falling in the living room or something, so please be careful. Um, like I say, you can attempt it with a tuck. You can attempt it with something even simpler, just a pencil jump straight. Okay, just give it your best shot. Like Sean did. Are you ready, Sean? Let's see if we can do it this time. Are you ready? And seven, and round it goes. Back roll up, jump, illusion, box. Good girl. Okay, so we're going to go straight from this, we're going to move on. So from here, you've got a double wind and straight front kick, banging front. Okay? So again, ready? Seven and go. Double wind and kick. Nice and simple, nice and effective. If you give the double fast jump wind and a double, well, not a double, a single straight kick. Okay? But keep it solid, keep it strong, keep it with the twitch. So don't just do a kick, hit the kick. Bang! Make it effective, make it eye catching. Okay, so let's go for the jump line. Are you ready? Seven, and jump line and kick. Good. Again, nice and easy, but 
when I say nice and easy, it's not always nice and easy to make it look effective, okay? You've got to get every element covered, okay? Making sure the twitch is there, making sure your line is there, making sure the arm's twisted around with a double if you can, making sure this arm's in position, okay? Um, do, you do, do you do your arm up? Double line, Jeff? Yeah, so it is on that, just forgot there. So make sure that you hit that arm dead straight. Okay, from the kick, all you're gonna do is fetch the arms in. You can see with Sean, she's got one foot forward and one foot back. She's got the arm in. Then you will chop out, so you've got nice straight arms. From there, she's just gonna do two spins. Then she's gonna go straight into a butterfly, and then she's gonna do two spins again. Okay. Before I put through the pain of doing a butterfly and maybe slipping or whatever, we all will break it down a little bit first, okay? So you're going to go from, um, you finish your double, uh, double line kick, yeah? So double line kick, then fetch the arms in and out, double spin, butterfly up, double spin. No, we take we confirm going to pre right there, okay? So it is double spin, butterfly, Double pirouette. Pardon me. Okay, so let's go from double wine step kick. You ready? So we've got seven and double wine step kick, hit, hit, and stop there. Okay. So, Shadi, can you just break that balloon for me? So guys, we're gonna go from uh, double line step kick, yeah? So double line step kick and um, straight into the arm, chop, double spin, butterfly, double pirouette, not double spin. <laughs> Are we ready? So let's go from um, double line, yeah? Ready? Seven and go. Double line step kick and in, out, double spin, butterfly up, and double pirouette stop. Good girl shot, okay? So just to quickly recap the butterfly, all you're gonna do if you just watch Sean, she finishes her last spin, she steps her foot out, she takes her arms across and in front, she crosses them, I'm open to the camera here, crosses them and then continues straight into the step pirouette, okay? So I'm gonna get her to recap that one more time. So I'll go from the double wide step kick Sean, if you don't mind. Are you ready? Five, six, seven, and go. Double wide step, kick, and in, out, and out, and up, and double pirouette, stop. Okay, from the stop, she's gonna, we'll go straight on to the next pitch arm. From the stop, all you're gonna do, yeah, arms out, then lift your arms up, with your head drop back. So your arms up, head drop back, okay? And then the next move is, um, a move from another professional that I've actually sneaked in there, okay? We call it the Kemi move because it's one of Kemi's moves, but we really, really like it. So we have chucked it in the lecture. So we have arms up, head back, and I just go Kemi, Kemi, so you go bang, bang, and then from there, all you're gonna do is another double top, okay? But you will pull it up. So we will go from, uh, you finished your pirouette, okay? So pirouette shot. So you got pirouette, stop, arm up, head back, Kemi, Kemi, then double top, okay? Good work. So, one more time. And, so on the Kemi, Kemi, just recap that move. So we go step back, hit, and hit. Good. Okay, let's go from the um, pirouette stop, okay? So we've got seven and pirouette, stop, up, head, Kevin, Kevin, double top. Good work, well done. Okay, guys, we're getting there. Okay, we're doing good. Um, if you want to recap it through, you can do. Um, we will go through it all now anyway, from the start to there, and then we will to get through to the ending um, shortly. Okay, it's time's ticking. Get a quick drink. I've got drinks all the way around the room, so if I do disappear off, it's probably because I'm disappearing. So drink over here, drink over here, music and drink over there. 
So let's go from the top and then we will finish on um, the Kemi Kemi, yeah? Uh, double top. Okay, so we've got from the beginning. We're going to go from the beginning, sorry. Okay, so we'll go in starting position. We'll do it really, really slow. Uh, and then once we've done it slow, we will then continue on the ending of the lecture. Okay, so you've got from here, you've got the arm and ripple drop. From there, you've got a big jump up, straight up double tour. Again, either double or single, whichever is preferred. Double spin or single spin, again, whichever is preferred. Straight from there, you've got your pirouette stop. Into plie position, head back, head forwards. From there, across, across. Double or single line, whichever is your preference. From there, you're going to do a scoop up. You're going to take your body around. From the body around, you're going to arms up, kick back with a flex foot, rotate round. Double twist onto the splits, or either one foot, one knee. Take the leg round, back roll. From the back roll, all you're going to do is a nice, simple, big jump illusion. Big box jump. From the box jump, it's nice and simple double wide step kick. From the double wide step kick, you fetch your arms in, you fetch them out, you do a double spin, you do a butterfly, you do a double pirouette, you stop. Your arms go up, your head drops back. You then step back, Kemi. Kemi, from there you've got the double top, okay? Perfect, looking good, guys. Okay, you have one minute to mark that through, and then we will add on the ending, okay? Um, yes, I think we're getting through this pretty well, guys. Right, join it both from um, double wide step kick, yeah? And then pick it up from there. Okay, so we'll go from the double wind. So you've got your double wind, you've got your step kick. From the step kick, you've got your in, out, double spin. You've got the butterfly up. You've got the double pirouette, stop. Arm stretch up, head drops back. The can you move back, can you move back. Pull up on the double tar and stop. Okay, let me please uh, remind you on the double tars, okay? Make sure it goes up, okay? Looks a hell of a lot better getting the jump going up than going across in my personal opinion, okay? Better to have some eye in the jump, okay? So, from the double tar, if you just watch Sean, you've got your arm in and back in, okay? You see your hands, ready? And, in and in. Use that middle body, okay? Really use that middle body, okay? And again, Charlie. So you've, she's landed the double toe. She's got in and in. From there, she's got stretch arm up. Pull it in with the head back. Okay, let's go through that again. Are we ready? Seven, and. Body, body, stretch, pull. Good. Okay, one more time. Then we'll do it the other way. Ready? And, seven, and, body, body, stretch, pull. Good. Let's just do it the other way for me, Shani. You ready? Seven, and, go. Body, body, pull, in. Good work. Okay, uh, then let's get on to the next bit, which is pretty much the end. So we'll get on to pull in. Round it goes, round it goes. Round it goes and hit. Okay? Now, don't ask me to demonstrate that. Okay? I ain't very clear. Okay? So I'm going to get Sean to do it again. Okay? I know that it's got to be more middle body. I did. I tried to do it, but I couldn't. Okay? I just put it together. Okay, so are you ready, Sean? Let's go from the. Um, yeah. Ready? So you've got arms up. Ready? Arms up. Round it goes. Round it goes. Round and hit. Make sure you hit strong, okay? And again, are you ready? Seven, and go. Round, 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 hit. Good girl. Okay, and then the ending of that, to finish off with, is from there, all you're gonna do is turn, put your hands on your hip, well, and on hip, well, yeah, here, or here, whichever you prefer, and then twist it away. 
So from here and twist it away with a head flip, okay? Lecture done, okay? So what we're gonna do, we are gonna um, just go over that last bit and then we're gonna get off for the shot to give it a best shot to go all the way through, okay? It is gonna be tiring, which is gonna give it a best shot. Okay, um, let's have um, from the double line shot, ready? So we've got seven and double line step kick, chop out, double spin, butterfly up, pirouette, stop, or up, head back, kemi, kemi, double top, from the double toy, the body in and in, up, pull, round one, two, hit and hit, finish, and turn and go. Okay, now when you walk off, guys, I want you to walk off with that sass, okay? Like, yes, I've just absolutely smashed it. Not like, yeah, okay, it's all right, okay? You need to be super confident, show everybody that even if you've gone wrong a little bit, or even if something weren't quite right, they ain't got a clue about that, okay? So you've just got to be able to super confident and gone through it, okay? Once through from the top, and then Sean's gonna dance it, okay? So we'll do it all the way from the beginning, and then we'll get Shani to dance it, all right? So, if you need a quick drink, get one now, so you've all focused to go from the very top. So we'll go uh, all the way through, and then once she's finished, she will finish with a walk off, and then what we'll do, we'll let it recap in, get a quick drink, Put the music on and then we'll try our best, Shani, to smash it through. Are we ready? So, start position. And hands up and rotate it through and stop. And jump and double tall, double spin. Double pirouette, stop. Head back, head down. Cross, cross, double wind. From the double wind, you've got the scoop, you've got the come around. From the round, you've got the arms up, kick back, rotate round. Double twist in the air, either split or one foot, one knee, whichever is your preference. Take it round, use the arms. From there, you'll get back up. You've got the big jump illusion, you've got the massive box jump. From the box jump, you've got the double wind step kick. From there, you've got the in, the out. From the in the out, you've got the double spin, you've got the butterfly, double pirouette, and stop. Arms up, head back, and came in, came in. Double top up, from the double top up, you've got the body, body in, pull, and body round, body round, and finish. And clip off, okay? Now you're gonna get a quick drink, we're gonna do it straight to music, and then we are finished, okay do. So, are you ready to do this, Sean? Yeah. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend so far. Are you ready, Sean? So, what I'll do, guys, I'll stay for the family this time so Sean's got a little bit more room um, and she will dance it all the way through for you. Okay, do
Sean and um, yeah, I hope you all have a good weekend. Uh, I bet Sean's a bit tired now. Okay, 